started talking about the fight, Jimmy, and we didn't talk. We did not talk anything about the melee, about the fucking debacle. We're going to talk to you about that. We were just talking about what how happened? the fight went down. <laughs> what happened? Whoa, you must have tuned yeah, off the second uh, fucking Connor tapped. Yeah, I didn't see the end. What happened? Why what? did somebody have an argument? I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy Norton, you, t- tell us, please. Tell yeah. us, what, do you, what is your thoughts about that? I'm treating him like a guest, by the way, guys. I'm not treating him like uh, he's a regular I Look, I happen to like, you know, I, I never liked Connor. I, I kind of root against him, but I really, that was Khabib really fucked up. Yeah. He really fucked up. Yeah. And uh, they, now Dane is saying that his guy might not be allowed back in the country. If it's some kind of an assault, there might be a visa issue. It was, a, it was a disaster, and he put the UFC in a bad spot. Well, if a riot breaks out because of something he does, all of a sudden there, there's a lawsuit. It was a terrible move by Khabib. True. It was. Now, not, I'm not going to bat for Khabib. Say that ten times fast. To bat for Khabib. To bat for Khabib. I'm sorry, guys. But, uh, you know, is it just me, like, like, didn't Connor jump over the fence and jump in Jose Aldo's face? What if he jumped in Jose Aldo's face and Jose Aldo punched him in the fucking face? And then all of a sudden the Brazilians you start know. attacking the Irish. And I, I mean, listen, my job's at stake, Jimmy. Let's change the subject. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> listen, my thing you is... You can't do it. Well, you, you can't, can't, you can't do it, but he did it. The guy who, I mean, first of all, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not saying what Khabib did was cool, but you know what is cool? The fucking picture of him like a fucking eagle jumping <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he fought, look, he fucked up. It was stupid to do. It was Jimmy like, Rear, did you see that picture? Like, he, I, he I saw the picture himself. numerous times. Connor so. tapped. Connor tapped. Yes. And he fucking robbed himself of the opportunity to throw his hands up while Connor stands there with his fucking face looking down at the mat because he tapped. It was a terrible, terrible move. Wait, what are you saying? He did what now? He robbed himself of the chance yeah. to stand there with his arm raised, with his belt, because his belt meant something to him because he was screaming, where's oh my, my belt? God. Get my belt. So it did mean something uh, to have his belt put on him. He just robbed himself of that opportunity. He got Connor to say uncle, and he, he fucked himself out of the chance because now nobody's talking about Connor saying uncle. They're all talking about the problem that happened after. It was, it was terrible. You know, he could have really ended it off. I'm sorry, Matt. No, no. He could have really ended it off on a high note, could be even did so well, but... The, what he did, I understand the stuff going on, and we're in the business of trash talking, and people are going to say the craziest things all the time, and they're going to try to dig in, especially Conor McGregor. He's going to try to dig in every way possible, but he should have just stand over, made him tap, and then at the end of it, it was, it was not even like he would have won the war if he didn't jump over the cage. He would have won the war and made him look so good with the bell around him and this and, and the win, but the fact that he jumped over, he, he gave Conor that battle a little bit at the end. I feel like, yeah, Jimmy. I, I, you know what? Ahead. He actually made me like Connor more because, like, even though Connor talks a lot of shit, and he's a trash talker. They all want to fight him. Khabib was beating up Michael. Uh, who was it beating up Michael Johnson? Telling Dana, like, that's not very respectful when you're beating one guy in the corner and you're saying to Dana, "I want to fight your right. son." That's not exactly respecting your opponent either. So everybody wants a piece of Connor because of the amount of money he brings in. And then when he talks shit, people get mad that he's talking shit. Well, it's like, well, that's why he's got, you know, four of the top six uh, highest grossing pay-per-views. Because people love him, they watch him. People hate his guts and they watch him. So yeah. it's like you can't have it both ways. If you, if you hate Connor, fine, don't fight him. But don't ask for a fight with Connor and then get mad when he does what Connor does. No, Jimmy, I agree with you to a, to point. a, to yeah. a, to a point, though. But listen... Hey, man, <clears throat> yeah, that could be disrespectful. Oh, he's talking to Dana while he's fighting him. Well, he's showing Dana he's on a different level. He's not talking about yeah. Michael Johnson's father or his religion or this stuff like this that's bigger than just dollars and cents and selling a fight. What is next? Talking about somebody's wife, somebody's kids? There's got to be a line in the sand. I fucking disagree with anybody that says different because I'll tell you what, you cross that line – you're getting dealt with with certain people. Look at that picture of him jumping over about the fucking his foot looking to go on uh, Dylan Dallas's whatever he looks that guy's like name a is. Fucking neck. eagle, right? Well, there. I mean, that's somebody that's you hurt emotionally. Now you want to take it to that level. All right, you're selling a fight. Yes, people, you want to be hated. People are gonna hate about you if you talk about somebody's uh, family, somebody's father, who he obviously lo- He's looking. Yeah, you want to talk about mental warfare. He's looking about what this guy holds the dearest to him. And he's make, uh, make, making a mockery of it. And he's, I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty sure he said bad things about the father. I'm not getting into it, but awful I things. Don't, Matt, I'm not even saying you're wrong. Yeah. I'm not saying you're wrong about any of that. 
but you it can't propel you no. to jump over the fucking Doesn't, octagon 100%. and hit somebody who's outside. He's got to act like, like a professional. You're right. Yeah. I I agree yeah. with you guys. Yeah. But again, I'm not saying I'm not part psychopath. Yeah. If I'm fucking, there is lines that should not. You're talking about guys that are fighting. Listen, yes, I was always professional. I never did anything, uh, at, at you know, to get disqualified or I, guys. This has nothing to do with this. <laughs> this is just, just came to me now for a second. What about Connor fucking cheating all night? <laughs> did anybody ever bring him out this? The guy's yeah. fucking. First of all, he, he legally need him. Yeah. How about Khabib not being a fucking bitch where? He gets yeah. kneed in the face illegally, like Frank Shamrock did to Henzo Gracie when he was cross-eyed on him. And, yo, Khabib did not move at all. He's like, no. yo, fuck it. Go, yeah, good. <laughs> good, need me again. I'm not losing, getting the fuck off of you. That guy wanted to get stood up so bad he was going to take the foul. Anyway, that just came to me. Like no, but he, grabbed the, he was grabbing the glove. He grabbed the fence a couple of times. Yeah. Yeah. So, but listen, no, listen, you're right, though, Jimmy. You're right, Jimmy. You're right. He should not have jumped over. I'm not, I should not, I'm not trying to make excuses for that. But... Right. And all these young fighters out there, guys, yeah, you're going to be hate. I mean, like, look, Colby Covington's another one, dude. He talks about with John Jones. The stuff he talks about with these guys is deeper than just fighting. This one's doing that, or this one's with his wife, or this one. Dude, you're, that, that, that just shows a piece of shit. And I'm not saying Connor is. I'm saying, like, well, Colby, yeah. Colby Covington is a piece of shit. But uh, I just like to say that a lot. I got to end it every time. <laughs> every time we just talk about nothing, Jimmy, I just bring up uh, either that I'm in the Hall of Fame and that Colby Covington's a piece of shit. Anyway, go they ahead, Jimmy. Your, they are your go tos. Yeah, Thank they, you, and Jimmy. Colby's not a fan, but you're certainly, you made it very obvious you're not a fan of Colby. <laughs> well, yeah. you got to agree with, with Jimmy over here because, look, listen, it, the, the game's changed a lot compared to when Matt yeah. was fighting. It wasn't like that, but the trash talking so far now. But he, he did sign up for it. He wanted Connor. He did sign up what Connor was going to bring and trash talk and say all the stuff. You know, Connor sits down, and does his research, and he's going to try yeah. to do any means possible to get in Khabib's head. And that's where I was very surprised with Khabib. He held his own. He was smart in all the rounds. He didn't let his emotions get the best of him until after the fight. Yeah. yeah. I th you know what this, like, for me is a. And I actually. Sorry, Jim. Sorry, guys. I, I actually thought that Connor did get in his head, so I might have been yeah. wrong. But it looked like during the press conference. When they were talking about the Vladimir Putin photo, uh, Khabib seemed like he was a little uh, rattled by that. And he was actually right. justifying it instead of, instead of telling Connor to shut the fuck up. Um, and he was actually trying to like, uh, respond. So I'm like, maybe Connor is in his well, head. But you're right, he did hold it until after the fight. Jimmy. It certainly did not affect the way he fought. Having to do with that, Jimmy, I, I, I believe you're right with that because in the post fight press conference, yeah, Chris yeah. Producer knows where I'm going with this, yeah. he actually brought that up. He brought up that, well, he brought up how disrespectful what Connor, how he was and what he, the stuff he's did. And he goes, oh, and he brings up Putin. You know, Putin just called me to congratulate me about winning. And so, right. I mean, you could tell, obviously, it struck a chord that after all that went on, I got a belch coming. I'm trying to, it's ruining the moment. It's ruining the fucking moment. <laughs> after all that goes on, that went on, yeah, that he's bringing up about Putin just calling him. And so, you obviously, Connor did some damage there. I just don't like the stuff about his dad. I mean, dude, you... That's now you're making it something that's not gonna. You're not gonna get this settled. I had differences with Matt Hughes. I had different. We didn't like each other at all. But I would never talk about his family. I would never. There's there's lines right, you don't do as a man because now you're now that's. Hey, how about this? Getting some bad karma, you know. All this shit gets you bad karma. Also, I'm not saying, and that doesn't but, mean you should get sucker punched. Hey, I love. Hey, listen, I love Khabib. I know he made a mistake there. But whoever jumped over the fence, shame on you. You don't, you don't fucking, terrible. what are you playing, a knockout game, asshole? Honest. You don't do that. You don't come up behind somebody and look to fucking knock them out. Yeah. The fuck, man? I'm not making for excuses, but holy, look at that picture. Yeah. Does that look like a guy that's worried about what's going to happen? No, <laughs> definitely not. That looks like a guy saying, you're within my, my I see you. I see you talking shit to me. I'm going to get you. I don't, it's not right. He should have been the bigger person, and he knows that. I'm sure he, I'm sure Khabib will tell you, listen, that's not... He even said, he goes, that's not the best side of me. He goes, people know me. I think he broke. I think he broke. Uh, he did not plan on doing that shit. Yeah. I'll tell you right now. It's not like he goes, I'm going to beat him up, and I'm going to jump the cage. He got... He looked over fucking Blondie over there, uh, Dylan... What's his name? Dylan, Dylan Dennis. Dennis. Dylan Dennis. Who is a sh I mean, he's a shit talker if you watch his fights and whatever. So it's like he can get under your skin after so all you got of this. It's all that that guy talking the shit after all this stuff. This yeah. guy's dealing with. You heard him with the with the stuff with his with the family. The the every. Oh, it's just it's. I listen, man. It's one of those things where no, you don't condone it, but 
Hey, man. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like, I you know, know, yeah, when you, when you put a, it in a frame of what happened, and if you take it out of that framework for a second, and yeah. you say, right, let's not look at a fight. Let's just look at two men in a room, and you say that to me. And I'm supposed to be emotionally numb to that. No. That's not going to happen, right? No. Someone's going to get into a well, fight if you say that kind of stuff. So then you put it in the framework of a professional fight. And then you can have an argument and say, look, you're supposed to keep your composure. I get it. So I don't condone it, but I understand it because it makes sense to everybody on a human emotional level that like if you say those things, words have weight yeah. and, the, and they have meaning. And so when somebody gets upset, you can't just say, don't be upset. No, I'm upset. So I feel like it can extend itself, like you said, not necessarily because... You know, it was a planned thing. I don't know, but you know, you can understand it. I would never say that was the best thing for the UFC. I would never say that that's what we should do. But from a human level, you can understand someone's response to saying those things to you because it's like it's upsetting. If someone said that to me, I wouldn't be happy. And then you can say well, there's a lot of money on the line, blah blah blah. But you're making it, excuses. It's then, it's wise words from Jamie over there. Do you know why? You know why it is? <laughs> why? Because he in all that. You know what I got out of that? In his in his in his in his voice, he said, <laughs> "Mate." Words have weight. Words? Yes! Oh my God, this guy's words have weight! Are you writing this shit down and you're like, tomorrow I'm gonna drop in the middle of my sentences, I'm gonna say, and words have weight, mate. Ah, la la la. Just comes you out are, of them. It comes out of you. I don't know what's going on anymore. It comes out of you. <laughs> and I'm trying to I'm think scared. of a good analogy. I can't. Listen to me. I'm so happy you're here with your fucking wisdom. God, do I feel dumber. Whoa. <sighs> Jamie, how do you feel now? Like, I, I'm still in the fight game now, and he does that. It doesn't give us a good look. That's why I get upset about it. I'm like, I understand Khabib, and he should be upset with all the words he's saying, yeah. but that's where, like, Matt, I come in. I'm like, oh, he's got to still act like a professional and be the bigger person. I know it's yes. a freaking hard thing to do when you're saying stuff about dad and religion and stuff like that, but be the bigger person and just look down and be like, I whooped your ass. I tapped you out. You know what I mean? And just stand there with the belt and get on the mic and say, don't ever say that stuff. You know, well, that's it's, just, it's just, hard, but it makes yeah. us other fighters look yeah. like we're just savages. Right. And it's not a good look for martial arts. And there's a, there's a, this is a discussion for me. I don't know the answer, but there's a good uh, point to be made. Uh, what is there any point, if there is a point, that people get involved, right? Like to say, like, that's too far. Because you've got to remember, if you condone it as a promoter or whatever, then you have to be ready for the consequences of allowing those things to go to a certain level. Because they're going to have, eventually, this isn't a surprise, right? Someone throws a trolley at a bus, breaks a window, and then this guy jumps out of the fence and jumps. You're going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm surprised. Hang on a minute. You know, there's got to be some sense where you're like, is, as a promoter, whoever can police that, and you can police it to an extent because you're in charge of their purses and things. You can be like, listen, this has gone too far. And then if, they, if those things start to happen, you can, this could break out into a riot. This right. could be a very bad thing. Right. So it's like, no, not, I'm not saying that's what you do, but it's a discussion, right? And it was to be the had. biggest night in the UFC's history. So right. listen, it's bad. It's fucking bad. <laughs> yeah. but, Jimmy, but, yeah. but, 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 Jimmy, Jimmy, look at me, but, Jamie. I'm yeah. listening. Look at that picture for a second. Holy fuck, that's <laughs> badass. Holy shit. Holy fuck, that guy. Does that guy mean, is that, is that a Twitter warrior? That's a fuck. You don't talk about that guy's daddy. Look at him. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the Fuck. thing, though. If it ended there, like if it was <laughs> just that. Khabib doing that and the possibility of a riot Holy in the crowd fuck. and his teammates jumping in, if that wasn't stuff that could happen, we'd look at it and go, all right, he shouldn't have done that, but we get it. Yeah. Listen so to the me. fact that the crowd could freak out, the fact that his teammates jumped in the octagon, which is completely unacceptable, like that's where it starts to become something that's bigger than that. Well, know? what it comes down to. Listen, it. The, go, go ahead, Matt. Go ahead. Oh, no, 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 Jimmy, no. Jimmy, I'm just, mm -hmm. I'm just looking at that. I'm just. You're looking at that. I, I see, every time I look over, I see Eagle. I swear to God, I yeah, see yeah, Eagle just get jumping out of the fucking cage and trying to kill Dylan Danis right now. What but I, yeah, go ahead, Jimmy. You know, you're, you're saying the right things. You oh, are. I'm sorry. I'm not, I keep cutting you off, though. I feel bad. Say it. No, you sure? Say it. There will be. Khabib, Connor, two. There will be a second fight. I guarantee you that.